thanks for joining me for today's reflection. This month in Liberton Kirk Daily Devotions, a recurring theme has been about the names of God and how we can stand on the promises contained in them. So today's passage is from Exodus chapter 3, verses 14 to 15. And it's from a very well-known passage where God has been speaking to Moses from the burning bush, calling him, sending him to Pharaoh to lead the Israelites out of, of Egypt. Moses is worried that the Israelites won't believe him. And he asks God, what is your name? God says to, said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you're to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, the name you shall call me for, from generation to generation. So what does this particular name, I am, tell us about God? Seems to me that it highlights the fact that God is eternal, that he's outside time, but also that he is with us in the immediate here and now. Obviously, this is something that's so fast, so out with our ability to understand, limited as we are by time and space that we live in. But then I was reminded of a card I'd picked up many years ago, which I still carry around in my purse. You know the sort of thing I mean. Although I guess they're becoming less common now, with everything being online and on our phones. Anyway, these words were written by someone called Helen Malicote. Let me read it to you. I was regretting the past and fearing the future. Suddenly, my Lord was speaking. My name is I Am. He paused. I waited. He continued. When you live in the past, with its mistakes and regrets, it is hard. I am not there. My name is not I was. When you live in the future, with its problems and fears, it is hard. I am not there. My name is not I will be. When you live in this moment, it is not hard. I am here. My name is I am. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you that we can come to you, the almighty, the eternal I am, and know that we are known, accepted and loved unconditionally by you as your children. Thank you that even in these challenging and uncertain times, when so many things are changing so rapidly and constantly, we can still be certain of you, that you are with us no matter what we're going through. Please help us to live in today, not focused on regrets of the past or worries of the future. Thank you for the many promises and the invitations that are contained in your word. Thank you that your word says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. Thank you that it says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Father God, please help us to remember your promises to us and to look to you for our security, our strength and our comfort when we need it. And please teach us how to share this with each other and with a needy world around us. In Jesus' name we ask these things. 
Now let's pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.